Hi everyone, I'm Nathaniel and in this channel we'll discuss CBS or business math topics. I know most of us are very worried concerning the upcoming tests and exams, but don't worry, that's why this channel was created to help us understand our CBS lecture step by step and in details. So that means I won't be boring you with any unnecessary statistical jargon. But for this video specifically, we'll be discussing binomial probability distribution and how to go about it. We'll also be solving questions that are likely to show up in our tests or exams. So make sure you are subscribed so you won't miss out anytime I post a new video. Alright, so without further ado or any waste of time, let's jump right into the video. Okay, so before we can start talking about uh, what binomial is, there are two very important concepts or ideas that I would like you guys to understand, aid your understanding of binomial before we can start talking about binomial. The first one is... So the first one is trial or experiment. What are trials or experiments? See, trial or experiment they are not exactly the same, but when I say trial in probability, I mean experiment. And when I mean when I say experiment, I mean trial. No one will ask you for the difference. A trial or an experiment refer to a test. What what do I mean by a test? See, because probability is very unpredictable. I don't know what will happen. I don't know what happened if I flip a coin or I throw a die. It's either a head comes up or a tail, but I don't know. So why don't I test to find out why don't i toss the coin once i flip the coin to find out what happened that process of me flipping the coin throwing the die is called a test a trial or an experiment i can throw this coin a number of times one two three four five to infinity but to be realistic let's say i toss this coin five times i have experimented or tried or tested this coin five times so that's what it means so it is denoted with the letter n so don't forget that word because anytime you see n i mean trial or experiment or test so make sure you don't forget that word all right so the next term is outcome outcome so what are outcomes outcomes in probability are the expected result of an experiment so if i have an experiment what what do you mean by experiment? It tests. So after flipping this coin or throwing this die, what do we expect to happen? What are the expected result of an experiment is an outcome. So in a coin, I expect to have a tail or a head at the end of the day. So or in a die, I expect to have the face one, two, so in a die, we expect when every time we throw this die, we either come up with the face one or the face two shows up or the face six shows up. So these are outcomes, the expected um, result of an experiment. So if two shows up or a one or a one or a two show up, then the outcome one has occurred. If two shows up, if two show up, then the outcome two has occurred. If head show up, then the outcome head has occurred. So that's what we mean by outcomes. So before we start talking about binomial, um, I prefer examples to definitions. So I won't be, I mean, think about it. Definitions are not as vivid as examples. So I will not emphasize too much on the definition. But here's the definition. definition says binomial is a likelihood likelihood i mean the likelihood that something will occur the likelihood that rain will fall tomorrow the likelihood that the sun will shine tomorrow the probability that rain will shine or the sun will fall so that's what i mean by likelihood so the probability that something will occur given only two outcomes remember what i said about outcomes but this time these outcomes are special to binomial They are very special to binomial, and I will explain. So please pay attention to this analogy. Let's assume we have this one thing. This one thing or a group of things, but forget about a group of things for now. Just focus on this one thing. That's what consigns us right now. 
so we have this one thing and then we are testing this one thing a number of times we're testing this thing one time two times what i say by a test a test is an experiment a trial or a test so and we tested this thing one time two time three time four time five time like i said we can test this thing up to infinity but or we can experiment on this one thing to infinity but let's be realistic five times so after testing this thing we are only conditioned to having only two outcomes We are only conditioned to having only two outcomes, two special outcomes. That means it's either we get this thing or not. It's either we get this thing or not. It's either we get this thing or not. It's either we pass or fail. It's either we succeed or we fail. It's either we score or not score. It's either we make the shot or not make the shot. Every time we test this thing, we get only those two special outcomes, those two special cases when we try them. And sometimes the question might tell us, or most times, every time the question will tell us, we are only interested in these three. So that will be the X, but don't worry, I will explain what this X means very, very soon. The question will tell us, we have one, two, three, four, five trials, but we are only interested in three. Or we are only interested in two. Or we are only interested in one. Or we are interested in four. Or we are interested in the whole five. That will be the X. Alright, so now let's learn to use the binomial formula since we understand the concept of what binomial is actually trying to um, describe so this is the binomial formula but let me explain what all these things mean we already know that n is the number of trial n we tested experimenting or something a bunch of times we are interested in it only um, five let's say we experimented on this thing five thousand times we are interested on it only hundred times only two times only so you see this is the number of times we are interested Combination n combination p. I will explain that later. P is the number of success, the success rate, which will be in the question or use little algebra to find it. X again. Q is the failure rate, which is the opposite of p. So if you have p in the question or we find p, what we just need to do is q will be equal to one minus p. So. then n minus x we should already know so this is it's about the binomial formula let's explain this part anytime you see this it means the, it, it's the same thing as this expression here n factorial n minus x factorial x factorial okay but well, what is factorial Factorial, I mean, if I have, for example, um, five combination two, I try something five times, I'm interested in it only two times. So this is what I mean. I mean, five factorial over five minus two factorial, two factorial. See? So practice often and you'll be able to do it faster. So five factorial means we are multiplying from 1 to n progressively this is what i mean 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 that is 5 factorial so 5 minus 2 that's 3 factorial here so we have 3 factorial we are multiplying progressively from 1 to n i mean 3 times 2 times 1 and then 2 factorial 2 times 1. So I can actually use a calculator to get this part. I can use a calculator to get this part or this part. But that's not the point of the video. But if you want me to show you guys how to use a calculator to get this part really quick, just let me know in the comment section. Now let's assume Messi wants to test Ronaldo on how many penalties Ronaldo can take. Ronaldo is this entity. And Messi is testing Ronaldo a number of times. So he can decide to test Ronaldo any number of times that he wants. So, so let's just say he tested Ronaldo on 
five penalty kicks. I know most people will say Ronaldo make all five. Yes, but Messi wants to know how many times Ronaldo will score. Let's say he wants to know the probability that Ronaldo will score three times when all these trials are independent of one another. Do you notice something? Every time Ronaldo is tested or experimented on one, two, three, four, five times, there are only two things that can happen. It's either he makes the shots or not. It's either he makes the shots or not. Although we're interested in it only three times, Sha. Sure. So um four or five times, we don't care what happens the fourth or five or fifth times. But we know we experimented on Ronaldo five times and we're interested in him scoring only three times. We want to know if he made the shot three times. So you can see that we want to know the probability of him succeeding to failing every time he makes any time he kicks the ball. So that's why see two outcomes, hence the name binomia, binomia two. Alright, I believe we understand the whole idea of binomia now. In the next video we'll solve questions questions that are likely to show up in our test or the exams. Alright, so that's it for me. So if you learned anything new or maybe you just like the video. Make sure you subscribe and hit the like button too. I'll see you guys in the next one.